Bedbugs are currently the plague of the Western world. They have spread everywhere and proved extremely difficult to eradicate and nigh impossible to control. They are possibly the most terrifying insect in the world, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 most disturbing facts about bedbugs. Number 10. Keeping your house clean does not protect you. When you're dealing with your average insect, such as the roach, keeping your house pristine is often an excellent way to keep them away. However, with bedbugs, the cleanest house in all the land will not help you. Bedbugs care only about your warm, delicious blood and the air that you exhale. Though bedbugs may be more dangerous to those who cannot afford an exterminator, your cleanliness will help you about as much as just shouting at the bugs. Number 9. They prefer to attack when you are at your most vulnerable. Bedbugs are nasty little miniature vampires who wait until you are at your most vulnerable to strike. They are nocturnal creatures, but that's only because that's when you sleep. However, they will attack you whenever and wherever you remain dormant for long periods of time. So, if you have a habit of sitting motionless on the couch watching television for hours after getting stoned and fading into a Cheetos-induced mini-coma, they may choose that as an appropriate time to strike. Number 8. If you see one, it's too late. Bedbugs reproduce very quickly, and you can go from just one male and one female to a huge amount of them in a very quick amount of time. Further, they are very hard to spot and very difficult to eradicate. By the time you detect even one of these foul hell spawn, even if you found the signs early, it's still very likely that the problem has already escalated. Number 7. They have mutated and developed a powerful resistance to pesticides. Back in the earlier days of bedbugs, many pesticides like DDT were used. Unfortunately, they have mutated due to the use of these chemicals and come back stronger than ever before. Not only that, but they have developed multi-level resistance to insecticides. According to science, they have achieved this by simply changing 200 amino acids that make up part of the sodium pore, making them 250 times more resistant to commonly used pesticides. Essentially, bedbugs have taken our weapons and used them to strengthen themselves. It seems that the bedbug takeover is well on its way and we are literally powerless to stop them. Number 6. Their feeding habits are incredibly disturbing. Ah, but how bad can it possibly be, I hear you saying. They just feed on your blood in the night. It's not that bad. But the thing is, their feeding methods are both extremely horrifying and completely disgusting. First, they give you an anesthetic so you don't notice their presence. Then they eat until they've utterly gorged themselves. The process takes about 10 minutes. Bedbugs are also known for depositing their feces shortly after they've eaten, which means they may be pooping on you while you sleep. This process can also cause inflammation, which brings us to the next point. Number 5. You can develop a serious allergic reaction to them. The good news is that only an unlucky few are naturally allergic to the saliva that the bedbug injects into your skin as it feeds on your blood. The bad news is that anyone can develop an allergy if a bedbug feeds on them enough times. As they continue to come back numerous nights in a row for a little more blood from you, their bites can cause itchy red welts which become easily infected from scratching. You might not even realize that the itching is caused by bedbugs. After all, it could be a venereal disease or something like that. Truth be told, though, the whole thing is much worse, because by the time you realize that the itching, nasty welts covering your skin are caused by bedbugs, it's probably already too late. And of course, there are the really unlucky people who have such symptoms as anemia, anaphylactic shock, asthma, and blister-like skin eruptions. Number 4. Bedbugs may be transmitting MSRA most popular belief says that although bed bug bites suck, at least they don't transmit diseases. Turns out popular belief is actually incredibly naive and stupid, who would have known? A group of scientists at St. Paul's Hospital recently made our nightmares much worse by doing a bunch of sciencey stuff that revealed the super virus, MRSA, in several bed bug samples. They now believe that because all it takes is an open wound or cut for MSRA to be transmitted, a bed bug could easily pass it along to the humans upon which it feeds. According to one entomologist from from the University of Kentucky, he has been predicting this for years, which is probably comforting to his ego, but not so comforting to those of us laying awake at night. Number 3. If you get infested, your life will change for weeks or longer. Dealing with a bedbug infestation is a horrific nightmare that will destroy every vestige of reason left in your brain. By the time the last bedbug has been removed, if you can even defeat them at all, the constant paranoia of every little itch going forward will be the last sane thought in your head, if that's your idea of sanity. You see, to fight bedbugs, you first need to call an exterminator, and you can count on at least two to three follow-up visits, usually spread apart by weeks at a time. You will also have to encase your mattress, box spring, and pillows in special bedbug protectors, which should 
should be kept on for a full year and a half for full effectiveness. This means that it will be over a year before the last physical reminders of this awful presence have been removed from your life. To make matters worse, until you have completely cleared the infestation, you will need to keep everything tightly sealed in strong plastic garbage bags to prevent further infestation. And you'll also have to dry clothes constantly on extremely hot temperatures just to kill the buggers. In conclusion, defeating bedbugs involves living out of plastic bags, scorching your belongings, and rubbing every surface raw with rubbing alcohol. And even then, due to their small size, it is hard to be sure that they've ever been truly defeated. Number 2. Bedbugs can survive for ages without feeding so remember how I said that you have to keep those mattress protectors on for like 18 months? Well, that's because bed bugs can survive for ages without any food at all. The older ones can actually stay alive longer than a younger one without feeding. But it gets even more horrifying. Not only can they survive without food, but what wakens them from their slumber is your body heat and the very CO2 that you exhale, especially when you sleep. This means that bed bugs are essentially vampires, except instead of Robert Pattinson's sparkly nature and dreamy creepo eyes, it's a dirty foul insect that deposits its feces all over you and your bed while you're sleeping. Number 1. Bedbugs have evolved solely to suck your blood. Worst of all, bedbugs have evolved over the course of millions of years for the sole purpose of feeding on your flesh. We bet that right now you're probably feeling rather itchy, but don't worry, it's probably nothing. Anyway, bedbugs started off as nest parasites, inhabiting the nests of birds and the roosts of bats. However, they eventually decided that they needed bigger prey to satisfy their demonic appetites, and they set their sights on the biggest of them all humans. And you already know what humans call our nest. It would be our bed, and that's how the little nightmares got their name. They adapted their habits to a new kind of nest, and the rest is just awful, bloody, disturbing history. All we're saying is that bedbugs could be hiding in your mattress right now, waiting for you to doze off so they can violate you while shattering your sense of safety and sanity. And, well, you might not even know it. Pleasant dreams. So I'm not going to ask whether you enjoyed that video, but I do hope you found it interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe. Also, why not check out my other channel? It's called Today I Found Out. You'll find a link to that on the screen now. And as always, thank you for watching.